Hi everybody, today we have a quick video. I will just show you my new bipolar voltage multiplier setup. So here is my 150 kV voltage multiplier. You are already familiar with it. Here is my minus 150 kV voltage multiplier. They are connected in parallel. So here is the ground wire, here is the AC input. And here are the outputs of my voltage multipliers. This setup can theoretically create up to 300 kV voltage difference, <laughs> which is pretty high. But uh, for the reasons I'll tell you later, now I can only create up to 250 kV. And here's my crude spark gap, uh, needle here and uh, wire here. The needle is needed to create corona discharge easier. And uh, 250 kV is approximately 50 cm spark gap if we have rod rod or needle wire it's the same spark gap so as you can see it's approximately 50 cm like 49 or 50 yeah you can kinda see it so yeah I guess now I will turn it on and we'll see some sparks so yeah I dim the lights a little bit and now I will turn on the voltage multiplier setup Okay, yeah, now I've turned it on and I'm raising the voltage. You can hear the corona probably. So yeah, now we have the streamer corona on the top of the needle. I'm raising the voltage. We have some slight discharges on negative voltage multiplier, but it's okay. Yeah. yeah, very loud sparks. So yeah, these are some big sparks, but I'm planning to make them even bigger. <laughs> and now a little bit about why now I can't make them bigger. You see? This is my old uh, power supply uh, on a flyback transformer and a ZVS driver. And on these high voltages, the corona discharge is already consuming about 150 or 200 watts. And uh, this is the maximum power of this flyback itself. It cannot transfer more power through this ferrite core. So now I need to find some new bigger core or make two transformers in parallel. Uh, but uh, I'll think about it later. So I guess that's all for today. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, leave a comment, uh, share this video, subscribe. And I hope to see you next time.